one and only Daniel Cormier, UFC light heavyweight champion. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. So how excited are you to be part of this first ever event? I'm excited. You know, these guys are my friends uh, and, you know, local guys, local art, local fighters, uh, trying to support them. I've got some friends fighting, guys from my gym. So, yeah. Oh, I'm really? Yeah, I've got, I've got uh, Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy's fighting. Sean Bunch is in the main event, one of my best friends of my entire life. So I'm excited to be here. That's awesome. Okay, so I have to ask. I know you're a Fox uh, Sports host now. Yeah. So how is that, you know, the transition between being a fighter at first, you know, your whole life pretty much, yeah. an Olympic wrestler. So how is that transition from being a wrestler, fighter, to being, like, behind the camera? You, you know what? It's, it's fun. You know, yeah. it's a good job. It's a good job. It sets me up for my future. Uh, obviously, you can't fight forever, so you got to. I've got a family, so I got to figure out ways to support my family as I move on. And I'm lucky to have Fox Sports and, and uh, everything else. So yeah, it's fun. It's tough. A lot of study, and sometimes it feels like I'm back in school, you know. But but it's good though. I know you're enjoying it, right? So me being a young broadcaster myself, is there any advice you can give me to being better with my craft? You know what? Just just always be prepared. Know who you're interviewing. Know who you're talking to. And, and, and find things that you enjoy doing. If you enjoy doing MMA, be around MMA. If you enjoy basketball, be around basketball. Football, same thing, you know. Enjoy what you're doing and always be prepared. I like that. So I have to ask, you interviewed Holly Holmes right yep. after her big, intense, intense fight with Ronda Rousey. How was that? Because I, I do know that you're a Ronda Rousey fan, yeah. big, big fan. So how was it interviewing her? And basically, what did you feel like? that was going to go, how did you feel she was going to react after beating such an amazing, amazing MMA fighter? Yeah, you know, I, I'm a Ronda person. Like, I've yeah. known Ronda since the Olympics, and I've always been a huge fan of hers. But watching Holly was inspirational. You know, she did something that no one thought she could do. And the raw emotion of the interview was great. You know, as I watch it back, and you ask the questions that you would expect. As a fighter, I was trying to ask her, not necessarily a, 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 a reporter or an analyst. I was talking to her as a fighter. Holly, how did it feel to win? You know, something like that that no one thought you could do. And the raw emotion that she showed after the fight was amazing. Uh, it was great to be a part of it. Uh, it was it was great. You know, it was great for Holly. Uh, congratulations again. And, and Ronda will be back. You know, don't don't mistake it. She'll be back. Yeah, she will definitely be back. So I have one last question. I've seen a lot of your videos and you seem like a pretty calm guy, very well, well put together. So when I was watching the weigh-in with yourself and John Jones, I kind of blew me out of the water. I was like, what the, you know? I was like, how did that happen? How, how, did, how did you let John, John Jones push you to that? Because that was pretty intense. To be real, that was so intense watching that. Like, it just went from the stage to the ground oh, to the yeah, side. Yeah. It was like, how did that happen? Well, you know, I think I think with Jones and I, you, you have two guys that are that are uh, alpha males. You know, no one wants to take a step back from each other, and uh, I think when we come together, it's just combustible. You know, and and uh, we're gonna fight again, yeah. and uh, I'm excited about that, and we'll see what happens. But I'm not gonna allow the build up to get to me as it did last time. I'm gonna just be myself and carry myself in the way that I carry myself and fight in the way that I fight, and I think I'll be okay then. Well, that's awesome. I have one very last question. What advice, well, like you said, this is an amateur event, you know. What advice do you have for these MMA um, MMA fighters that are up and coming? Some of them are really fresh to the scene. Yeah. What, what great advice would you give them? We were all here. You know, we all started in this same type of situation. Uh, fighting where we could, take advantage of every experience, uh, make the best of every experience, and just continue to keep your eye on the prize because the gyms only get bigger, the arena only get bigger, and the lights only get brighter. Yeah. And eventually you're at the top of the sport and all this, this is the foundation. You know, live in this moment and enjoy it. Okay, well, thank you very much. I really, no really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>